Okay, so I forgot to show you guys about resultant velocity. And so I wanted you to see how to do this and do a few practice problems in the little bit of time that you have left over. So let's say that you know that your bus is going 50. Oh, that didn't work. 50. No laughing at me, par. 50 meters per second. And you are running, so it's going this way, and you're running to the back of your bus at 3 meters per second. Okay? So the way you would have to calculate this is that this is um, actually working against each other, not together. And so when they're working against each other, it's just like um, forces, the way we did the balance and unbalanced forces, you subtract them. So your overall speed would be 50 minus 3, which would give you 47 meters per second. And your overall direction would be this direction. But you don't have to say that. You just have to tell me the overall direction. So let's let you do one. Let's say that you're going to the front of the bus. The bus is going 50 meters per second. And you're on the bus and you're about to get off the bus and you're going two meters per second to the front of the bus. Okay, and we wanna know what your resultant velocity would be. So right now you do that on your paper. I bet you're missing me about now. Don't say you're not par, because I know you are. Yes, David, I know that you're sleeping. You better wake up. I don't want to be asleep. All right, so in this case, they're working together, so you would add those. So it would be 50 plus 2, which would give you 52 meters per second. Okay. All right, you have four problems, or five, I think, actually. So get those done. See you guys when I get back on Monday.